And I start the book with what I think is the coolest story, which in the 1950s, this woman named Wanda Lunsford published what turned out to be her only paper ever in medicine, and she was actually kicked out. She took an old rat and a young rat, and she put them to sleep and tied their skin together. And so after about a day, the blood supplies join, and two weeks later, she looked, and that old rat had new neurons growing in the brain, the heart beat stronger, and the muscles were bigger, and she claimed she reversed aging. Well, they called her every name in the book, Dracula, Frankenstein, and she was pushed out of science. Well, earlier this year, three laboratories independently, one at Stanford, one at Harvard, and one at University of California, San Francisco, repeated the experiment, and it worked. And what they showed is that stem cells in us go to sleep at around age 25. And they're proteins in young individuals that turn them back on. And so the notion that the cure or for many of our ailments is actually within us is such a powerful way of thinking about things and exciting. I don't think we're going to live forever, but I'd love it if our seventh, eighth, and ninth decade can be quality ones and good ones. And if we can actually fix ailments with things like stem cells, it'd be amazing. So, of course, all of our viewers are thinking, I don't want to sow myself to some young person, but how could this be applicable to me? Well, there are clinical trials ongoing now where they're trying to use plasma for young individuals and elderly who have do, fractures. Do what kind of into individual? Plasma. So it's the protein from the blood. They're not the red cells, but the protein. And they use that to try to, in elderly, see if they can accelerate the healing of fractures. They're doing a trial in Northern California on severe dementia, seeing if they can reverse it. And very soon, they'll be able to identify the individual proteins within it. So very much like an insulin is used for diabetics, there'll be a shot for this to hopefully wake up these stem cells. The caveat is, is that we've cured cancer a million times in mice and rats. Right. We've done a lot there. So it's not clear it's going to work yet in us, in humans. But it's certainly encouraging and exciting. And something along that line will certainly, in these lucky years, as I call them, make an impact.